we're next in line, I think, uh, for Owen Smith here. So we'll grab a word with him next. Jeremy Corbyn, still very much in the thick of it. I think we can have a quick zoom into the thick of it. Jeremy Corbyn surrounded. This tells you actually quite a lot about the Jeremy Corbyn phenomenon. I mean, look at it. He's absolutely surrounded. It didn't take quite much as much effort to get hold of Owen Smith, did it? Uh, and these people are paid up party members and don't get much chance to see him, so I'm quite happy to wait my turn in the queue. But in many senses, uh, this uh, does illustrate the essence of the story that we are uh, looking at. Elaine says, Jeremy ignores BBC reports to speak to real people. Perfectly reasonable. Mr Corbyn, hello. Chris Mason from BBC News. Um, how many selfies have you had taken in the last few weeks? By me, you're a man um, in demand. We're, uh, we're on a, a selfie roll. <laughs> In many senses, it sounds like a daft question for that for a BBC reporter to ask you, but does this illustrate actually the essence of the Labour story at the moment? People who are coming rallying to your cause are hugely passionate about it, and we don't see that often in politics. Well, they're passionate because they want to live in a society that's just. I mean, the lady I was just talking to over there, her passion, and it's brilliant is about homelessness in Britain. Nobody with any sense of moral justice in, in their lives would want to see increasing homelessness in Britain or children growing up in insecure private rented accommodation where they have to move school every few months. What is it damage it does to them means they lose out and we all lose out as a society. Thanks for talking to us. Thank, Thank you, you Jeremy. Cheers. Jeremy Thank Corbyn you. there. Uh, no doubt uh, another selfie happening within seconds. In fact, as if to prove my theory correct, there you go, they're handing him his phone. 